Welcome to Connecticut. Yeah, driving on I-95. So ladies and gentlemen, I used to live in this state. I've lived here for 11 years. So in this episode, there's gonna be a lot of nostalgia. A lot of nostalgia. This is, uh, this is Norwalk. This is the parking lot. Wall Street. This is where we used to have our studio. It's no longer here. That was the studio. Three Wall Street. Well, it's been a long time. I used to be in this band called Eden's Gate. We used to rehearse at this place. And we used to park over there. This is Westport, Sherwood Park. We used to barbecue here a lot. That was our spot. And there's Long Island Sound. You know, the Canadian geese. I remember those guys. Good old Westport. Hello, Long Island Sound. Wow, it's been years. Westport, Sherwood Island. So dear viewer, welcome to my favorite town in Connecticut, Fairfield. I love Fairfield. I used to deliver pizza in this town. I did it for four years. I devoted four years of my life to pizza delivery and you know what I'm proud of it because I was the best damn pizza man in town I was the most efficient driver so this here is Pequot Avenue this part of Fairfield is called Southport Here's a beach. Pequot Avenue Beach. I used to come here a lot. Southport Beach. So 
I used to deliver pizza in this area, but then at night after work, I used to come back here and smoke some doobies and listen to music and chill by the ocean. Nice homes over there. Really, really nice homes. Yeah, this is the richest part of Fairfield, Southport. Thank you, universe, for making it possible. I feel so nostalgic right now. I love it. That's it, Route 1, Post Road. Sasko Hill. Yeah, I remember this street. This is all my pizza territory. <laughs> And now, this is Sasko Hill Beach, or just Sasko Beach. Again, this was one of our favorite spots <laughs> to partake in some extracurricular activities. That's some awesome real estate. There's Southport Beach, by the way. Right there. Back on Post Road.
Oh, this is Starbucks now. Uh-oh. No, it used to be called Coffee Roasters. It's mom and Pops. These damn corporations are taking over. This is where I used to work. Domino's. All right. <laughs> Can't believe I'm here. So I wanted to take a selfie in there for the old time's sake. But the guy said no. It's against company policy. We don't know who you are. I was like, I'm an alumnus, an alumnus of this place. He didn't care. People are robots these days, they're robots. They don't understand what nostalgia means. I think this insurance agency used to be here, it's the same one. Here they used to be cleaners, dry cleaners. Yeah. There was this girl working at the dry cleaners that I really liked. I remember I came over there and asked her out and I was wearing my Domino's uniform. She kind of looked at me like, I don't want to date no Domino's guy. Yeah, these stuck up Fairfield bitches. All right, let's taste it. Here's my rental car with an Ohio place this time. Good old Domino's. I used to get gas at this station in 1998, 99. That's when gas used to be $1 per gallon. Oh, the liquor store is still here. Wow. <laughs> Dutches! Wow, I haven't been to Dutches in years. Alright, this is the Fairfield Circle. 
Senor Salsa. Wow, it's still there. Unbelievable. And the McDonald's. <coughs> wow. So this is where I'm staying at. Fairfield Circle. Fairfield Circle Motel. I used to deliver pizza to this place actually a few times. Yeah. Stop and shop. <laughs> Fairfield. Exit 23. Serving our community since 1914. Well, I've been shopping here since 1914. I'm only kidding. So I shopped here from 1997 to 1998. That's about it. Hey, there's my motel. Not in my wildest dreams could I have ever imagined that I'd be staying at this hotel 25 years later. Wait, 30... Yeah, 25 years later, almost 30 years later. Yeah, that used to be my favorite section, the meat section. Oh, yeah. This was my favorite, lamb chops. Of course. Australian lamb. That's what I used to get. And this, of course, the seafood section. Oh man, swordfish. It's still here. <laughs> wow. I remember eating a lot of swordfish. It's true, and tuna. Lobster tails. Hey guys. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna live in this stop and shop. I'm gonna work for free so I can just live here and have access to the lobster tail every day. So this is it. Exit 23. I used to live right off of this exit. I'm gonna start crying now. This is a very deep, deep nostalgic moment, dear viewer. This is a very, very nostalgic stuff. Oh my gosh. Whole Foods? Yeah, that wasn't there before. This is new. CVS, that's new. Oh boy. Here we, here we go, here we go. Ardmore Street. Oh my gosh. I don't believe it. This is it, this is the house. Is this the house? Yeah, that's the house. That's the driveway. Oh my gosh. I lived here in 97, 98. Oh my God. I love this. I love this. This is where I used to park my very first car. It was a Renault Alliance. That was my window. Churchill Street. I think this is the house. Where my friends used to live at. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, 
And now uh, welcome to Bridgeport. <laughs> so this place that used to be called the Avenue Cafe. That's where I started my karaoke career. Now it's called Blind Rhino. Alright, let's see what's going on here. The Blind Rhino. Right, so this used to be the avenue where I did a whole bunch of karaoke. And doing karaoke made me feel very confident. And I became a lead singer after that. So karaoke is good stuff. Now this place is called Mr. Crab, but I think it had a different name before. And I actually played a couple of gigs at this place with my Led Zeppelin tribute band in the early 2000s. Oh, I found my favorite wine. Kendall Jackson, Chardonnay, California. Mmm. Hey, hey, hey. Fairfield Circle Hotel, really nice.